Life by Abe. I'm Abe and Misa. And today we are in the Fuyin province. Uh, right now we're in the city of Beihua. I, I have her say it because I would totally mess that up. Uh, and we're gonna go explore and see what Fuyin has to offer all the little places. Uh, where are we going first? Uh, we're gonna go to Daddy Reef. Daddy which Reef? is really beautiful. Okay, okay. Uh, they have that name because they uh, have a lot of like stone mm -hmm. that put together and it makes like a reef of stone. That's what it means. Okay, we're gonna go see like the stone reef called Dadia Reef. And then after that, we're gonna go to some island. Hon Ying, yeah. Hon Ying? The island Ying Island. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're gonna go there. And then um, after that, we're probably gonna grab some to food. Grab some food and then go to the beach. And then we're going to the beach. Yeah, that's this beautiful one. Yeah, that is. Bicep. Bicep? Bicep Beach. Oh, I've seen pictures. I can't wait to get there. Uh, today's, you know, not the greatest day for the beach, but it is a comfortable day for traveling and exploring. Uh, this morning, uh, it's afternoon right now. It's about one, almost 1 in the afternoon. We were totally up at eight, ready to go this morning, but then the <laughs> rains came. I swear to you, we were awake, ready, ready to get out the door. As soon as we opened the door, it started pouring down. So uh, we just took a break and uh, went back to sleep for a little bit. And now we're out and exploring. We just had lunch at this beautiful place. Uh, oh, we didn't get the name. Bung Ka Fu. Bung Ka Fu. All right, I'll put it up. I, I'll figure it out and I'll throw it up in a map or something and then uh, show you there. Uh, but uh, yeah, join us. Here we go. On our way. Ow. Hey, we're here at the Da Dio Reef. Beautiful, worth the drive. It's about 50 minutes from uh, Tu Huihua. And uh, now we're here, we're checking it out. It's gorgeous. I think, uh, I think you definitely, if you're going to this area, you have to make the trip up. There's a beach right over here and it looks like there's two people on the whole beach. Uh, so it's kind of secluded um, and the rocks out here are gorgeous. They are shaped uh, differently and this is all natural. Um, and it looks like they're like pillars of rocks uh, that are there. So this is natural nature's geometry is kind of what's going on here. So it's quite interesting. It's a little warm. Uh, the sun came out since we left and uh, we want to jump in, but uh, it doesn't look like there's a place to swim here. So. We're gonna go on to our, our next spot and uh, then we'll, do, we'll, we'll, we'll get wet there. But uh, yeah, until then, enjoy the views. things don't always go to plan and today was no exception today we tried to get to the Hongyin Island just to find out that the landing area the launching area was closed and under renovation and there was really no place for us to change or any way for us to get to that island so we decided to um, go to Bicep Beach but on our way to Bicep Beach, we got completely turned around and ended up in this nice little neighborhood, super windy, super local. 
uh, asked for directions, and they sent us to this park that was closed at the time. So we decided to head back to the city of uh, Tuihua and grab some dinner. And as you see in the video here, this is the preparation for our dinner. All right, so what do you have to say about this? Mm. Yeah, here we go. We've got uh, this, we've got some rice paper. You throw it down here, like so. Uh, I'm struggling with the rice paper, it's sticky. All right, there we go. Ooh, thank you. Throw down the rice paper and you grab some vegetables. And you line your vegetables here. There we go. Then you're gonna take half of one of the bansai. Oh, So we're gonna just like take half of it. I'll take it half now, and I'll do the all later. Uh, the wrap of the big one. Okay. Give me that. Here we go. I'll take the big one. And uh, there you go. You toss it right there. And then you're going to wrap it up. I only have one hand, so I'm going to wrap it up and then I'm going to eat it. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Make a nice little roll, and like uh, it's not tight, it's not right. Um, give yourself a nice, beautiful roll. And then we have some uh, dipping sauce, it's like got a little savory and sweetness into it. <laughs> so good, right? All right, now it's my turn. It's gonna be so good. Uh, yeah. Uh, one more? Maybe one. Oh. Like, I think one dish is actually. I think I think one dish right now. I think, and then we'll come back later for more dishes. Yeah, that's the plan. We we'll plan on eating a bunch all over, having small dishes here and there. All right, catch you on the next one. Peace. All right, here we have a ban kan. Ban kan. Ban kan he. Ban kan he. It's gonna be my first time trying this. At least I think so. Um, it looks good. It looks healthy. Uh, by the way, when you come to Vietnam, if you're eating in a local spot, one thing you have to think is, you're gonna eat in these tiny chairs like this. Like, I'm stretched out. Yeah, and, and here's the expert of Ban Khan. The Ban Khan expert is just doing her chopsticks, getting everything ready, because uh, it's yummy and delicious. Are you excited about this? Uh, I can't. I can't wait. I have to eat. Bye. <laughs> All right. So enough of us talking, and uh, now we're gonna eat. Um, so yeah. By the way, I'm so far from the table. Okay. Look, look, me. look. The bancan is different. Ooh, that looks yep. milky and good. Yeah. And of course, you got your fixings, some chili and stuff. Here, I'm just gonna take a sip of the soup. I can do that with one hand. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. All right, so a little sweet, a little savory, very herbalicious is uh, the, the uh, verb that I'm gonna use is, uh, or the, the descriptor is herbalicious. Putting you guys down here so you can see it. Enjoy it with us. some um, glutinous uh, noodles. I, don't, I think I'm using that term, right? Mm. Mm. Glutinous, they're kind of sticky. Yeah, um, it's like bancan, but... But smaller. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. So good. 
And now we got a little bit of chili spice in there. It is uh, doing the thing. Yes. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. Okay. You gotta come to this place. Um, do you remember the name of it? It's just like the bun, the bun can opposite to the boss office. Okay. <laughs> That's just the name. Yeah, there you go. Uh, close to the post office. Um, <clears throat> if we remember, we'll drop a, uh, a link for it uh, so you can try it. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right. So this is the yogurt and with a little bit of fruit. Like this is mango. And this is strawberry and we have this is like the coconut, coconut dry, dry, coconut, dry flakes. coconut flakes yeah and with cover with some of ice yeah what's it called? sữa chua dẻo it's, it's like the yogurt is it's soft mm -hmm. and smooth it's not hard okay well let's check it out let's see what it is this is like our dessert after that delicious bowl of uh, Ban Gan Ye. Uh, so we'll see what this is all about. Yeah, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is delicious. Toasted coconut flakes add like good texture, mm -hmm. and then uh, the yogurt smooth. It's almost like a flan without the uh, cinnamon, yeah. without the brown sugar in, yeah. in it. And then uh, I opted for the mango, and as you guys saw, uh, mm -hmm. she got the strawberry. Yeah. Hmm. Everything's fresh. Yeah, I can fuck with this. We have uh, we have another friend couple that probably would uh, love this, but uh, we didn't invite them on this trip. So yeah, we'll send this to them later. Wait, bye. <laughs> All right, hey, welcome back. We are on day two. two. Uh, to yesterday, actually day three. <laughs> day three, something like that. Uh, yesterday we went up to the north of Huying, uh, of the Tui Hua. Today we're going to go to the, the south, south um, and check it out. Uh, looking like uh, it's going to be a fun trip. It's a sunny day so far, so the rain did not wake us up this morning um, or stop us from going out because we were totally awake yesterday at 8 a.m. Uh, but today it's early morning. We're gonna head out and uh, go down to the south and hopefully we can come back and jump in the beach before the uh, sun goes down. So here we go. Hey guys, we made it here to the uh, something Mui Duck Mui uh, something uh, Mui Trắng Biển Mui Trắng Biển No, Mui Trắng Số Soi Mui Trắng Biển All right, Mui Trắng Biển 
something. We'll put it in the, the, the link, the comments or whatever. I'll put it on the captions there so you can see it. It's a jetty that is made out of like uh, these triangular, um, I'm gonna say ship breakers. Uh, they're kind of used to uh, reinforce the shoreline or in uh, war times they're used to make it difficult for you to land a craft on the beach for uh, military purposes. No. Yeah, that's what they're used for. That's what they're used for. Actually, the Chang Bing is mean, yeah, kind of like they use that to stuff the the uh, the ocean to mm -hmm. get into the land. Yeah, yeah. So the, it's it's two reasons, two things. One stopping um, erosion of the beach and two is going to stop ships from landing on the shore whatever they're giant concrete massive maybe like five ton things of concrete and it's hot out here so we're going to cut this out and uh, we're going to go to the next spot I don't know where we are. Mui Ding. Mui Ding. Um, we're gonna climb up this mountain. Yep, I know, we're climbing again. And then uh, there's a beach down at the bottom and it's in the middle of one of the most beautiful views in Vietnam. Supposedly it's like the most beautiful road in Vietnam we just got off of. Uh, and uh, yeah, so now we're crossing in, going to see a little river. There's like crossing a little stream right there. With a little bit of running water and uh, we're heading up the mountain here and around to the beach so yeah we'll see you on the other side all right we're not even halfway <laughs> we're winded we're dying we just took like 10 photos can we go back we we're gonna deserve the beach when we get there. We're gonna earn it. Oh. Cool thing is, they got dolphins to throw your trash in. And a little place to hide from the sun and the rain right here. Before you go up, some more stairs. All right, we'll see you later. Good times. I think we're gonna need a vacation from our vacation, babe. <laughs> Oh. We might have to voice over this without us breathing heavy as two fat kids trying to climb. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, damn. Up here, it's really more We made it here. It's gorgeous it's fantastic it's it's so nice so clean as you guys can see all around us is a mountain and then followed by ocean over here super clean super nice and uh we made it we're not we're not completely exhausted and winded like we thought we would be well yeah i mean we did take a mini nap before we started recording this but uh yeah <laughs> there we go all right look at this just check it out if you guys are ever in the uh, Fuyin province, this place is not to be missed. Um, I'm coming back. I'm probably gonna drag her back, but next time we're coming on a bigger motorcycle uh, to enjoy the trip just a little bit more, uh, to enjoy the roads. But yeah, come here. We made it to the highest point that we could go. Um, the views up here are stunning. 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 Uh, there is a uh, little gate stopping us from uh, 
going any further, but there is a lighthouse just uh, back there. Uh, but we can't go because it's, uh, it's blocked off. But as you can see around us, gorgeous views climbing up to the top, getting a little workout in and uh, meeting some interesting people on the way. Yeah, you have to go to see it. Yeah. We cannot describe by the video. Yeah, like uh, no matter how great of a photographer we are or videographer or how bad we are even, yeah. uh, it's not going to describe the beauty of this place through the lens. Uh, something you have to come and see with your own two eyes. Uh, stunner, stunner. Yeah. Worth the trip. Now we're going to go to the beach, maybe get a quick dip to cool off, and then nom 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 time. <laughs> Gorgeous. We made it down to the beach. Well, I did. Misa's still up on the mountain somewhere. Left her, she's just like not there, you know, whatever. Uh, but we made it down and we've got to cross over this little river thing over here. And uh, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just cross over this raging river of uh, water and make it to the other side. And uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, there she is. She finally made it. You, you, you made it. We didn't have to leave you behind. All right, cool. Hey, here we go. We're walking across the river. Well, I am. She left her shoes. I'm going to leave her again. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that bad. I'm, I'm a terrible boyfriend, by the way. That's our Instagram. But uh, I'm not that terrible. I'll wait. You know, reasonable amount of time. About 30 seconds. That's about it. All right, you ready? Let's go. Let's hope you not get washed away. I'm going to hold your hand so you don't get washed away by the raging water. Oh, my gosh. It feels so good. It feels so good. Watch out. Yeah. It's a deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna let you fall. She can swim. She's an Olympic swimmer, so uh, I'm not worried. In the water, she probably swims better than me. But here we go. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, made it to the beach. Super nice, super calm. Beautiful water. Nice and cool. Yeah. Good, refreshing. Refreshing. Yeah. All right, we'll catch you on the next one, wherever we go. I don't know. We don't know yet. Very we'll figure it out. Clear. Yeah. This is the cleanest I've seen. Crystal. I think the only place that was cleaner was uh, Elza. Folky. Ito. Iosio. Iosio. Elza. Iosio. What? What? Iosio. She's making fun of me because there's a place called Elza, but I didn't know it was Elza. It literally E O space G I O. So I thought it was E O G O, and uh, I never get to live that down. Uh, yeah. There's that. And, and then he he told me that I want to go to Eogio. I was like, where's that? And he was like, Eogio. <coughs> and then, yeah. Pull out the Google map. It was all her. Hey, you know what? Vietnamese is a tough language to learn. So, yeah. And I didn't know. I wasn't <laughs> learning at that point. So, I didn't know what to expect. But, uh, yeah, that's it. All right, I'm going to shut up now. And uh, you guys can look at the beach. Okay, so we stopped off at a viewpoint. Uh, that's the beach that we were just at. So tiny. Yeah, you are so <laughs> tiny. Uh, and then there was the walkway with the lighthouse up there that we were just at. Again, super beautiful, super stunning. Um, we walked up on this beach here. There wasn't too much trash, and the beach seemed, you know, like I said, fairly clean. The water was crystal clear and enjoyable. We are here in uh, the first week of November, so 
weather's nice it's not too rainy it's not too hot even though we're sweating but that's because you know we we kind of overindulged this year ate a lot and we got big and so we have to work out a little bit extra hard but that's it all right uh on to the next we're going to the ferry They're bigger, uh, one, and there's no, oh, there's the rice paper, but uh, they look delicious. We're gonna try these out. Um, this is not dinner. This is just a snack, okay? We're just getting a snack. We're going out a little bit later for more. All right, here we go. We'll see. Uh, we just finished uh, the Tapian uh, Tower, and uh, now we're just getting some food. Uh, now we're getting some food and some deliciousness and there's always something in front of the camera I don't know why but that's just our stuff oh stealing my still no, no, I, I know I know I know We just finished the Tapian. We skipped the Ferry Beach. Uh, I don't know if you heard us say it earlier. We skipped that because uh, it was smaller than we thought and it was a little bit more crowded. Um, so we decided to skip that and just come back. Went to Tapian. Didn't take any video there, but it, I'll put up some pictures. Beautiful, uh, old, like historic temple thing. And uh, now we're hungry. And then after this, we're gonna hopefully jump in the beach for at least five minutes. All right, later. It's our last day. We are checking out of the hotel, uh, getting a little bit of breakfast in us before we uh, head to the airport. Um, but I want to say, I think this was like, oh, sleepyhead. <laughs> I want to say, I think this was like one of our best trips in Vietnam. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. It's relaxed. It's just perfect. The nature, the landscape everything perfect mm, yeah 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 and you know it's been a great experience everyone's been nice and kind um 10 out of 10 i would do it again uh the only thing that i personally would change uh would be uh driving on a bigger bike um i would probably rent a uh a bigger motorcycle to uh to ride uh to the different places um Nice big open highways, beautiful roads, some of the places. In the south, going to the north, uh, not so much. Yeah, but, uh, it's also because at this time, the, nor the north area is a little, like, they fixing the road. Hmm. So it's, it's a bad uh, idea to go there at this time. But hopefully when we get back another time, it's be better. Yeah, um, and uh, yeah, so very relaxed trip. Um, we didn't do massages or any of the traditional like relaxing things. Um, we did get to the beach for a few minutes. Um, that was uh, interesting. Uh, we didn't film it. It was just kind of a uh, our recharging time. Um, and then uh, we had French fries. So yeah, that's it. But uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in coming to Vietnam, if you're interested in coming to someplace off the beaten path, Phu Yin would definitely be the spot. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, if you like this video, do us a huge favor. Hit that like button. It really does help. Uh, leave us a comment down below. Talk to us. We'll be more than happy to uh, comment back to you, talk to you as well. Uh, and uh, let us know if there's a, another place that you 
know of uh, that would be interesting for us to go and document and share and bring to the YouTube world. And uh, until the next time, travel well, stay awesome, and peace. Here is the uh, breakfast at the hotel. That is just lovely. So you've got some greens, some chili paste. Um, this is called mum bum. This is a shrimp paste. Be careful with that. And then here we've got some noodles, and it looks like we have some oysters, some chaka, when which is like a fish bologna. I know it sounds weird, but it's delicious. Uh, green onions, and uh, I'm not really sure what that is, but I know it's delicious. So yeah, nom nom nom, delicious. You guys like my earrings? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs>